Hi there, Andre here from Peak Motorcycles. Uh, as you can see, I'm back in the garage today, but this is not a video about my CRF 300 Rally, which is parked up behind me. So this is the first of a few videos I'm gonna do about my Ducati Scrambler. Now th this is a Ducati Scrambler 800, and it's the Icon trim, which was kind of the base model when it came out. I think they've been available in the UK since 2015. This is a 2016 model. It is pretty much as it came from Ducati. I got the heated grips fitted from new, um, I got the Termi race pipe fitted from new, which I'll show you, and that actually comes with a with a remap from Ducati at the same time. There are a few pit bits and pieces that I've added. So I've added this little fly screen at the front. I've added a Garmin GPS bracket. Uh, I've added a, a RAM ball mount for my GoPro. Uh, and then at the back, I've got these Krieger duo platform mounts. So this is left and right, and there's some panniers that actually fit over the top of that and go on the back. Other than that, there's a few protection pieces, some RNG racing bar end sliders, some engine sliders, and some front spindle sliders. And the last thing I think I should mention is I've done a very popular mod, which is I've put the foot pegs off the Ducati Multistrada onto the bike, because it's exactly the same fitting, and they just give that bit more comfort. They come with the rubber inserts. If you're riding it for a long day, they're just that little bit easier on the feet. I've had this bike from new, and it's still actually on its first set of tires. They are pretty squared off now after the, uh, the last long journey that I did. So it's going in for a service in a few days and I'm gonna have some new, some new rubber put on them. All I really wanted to do was just give you a quick walk around the bike, show you a few of the things that I've had modified from the start. And then over the next series of videos about this bike in particular, I am going to be doing a few, a few additional things. So when these bikes came out, they did come in for a bit of criticism um, around just how soft the handlebars were and over some of the vibrations that have come through. So what you see on here isn't actually the stock bar that comes with the Icon. What I actually had it changed to was the full throttle bar. This was a, a different trim version of the bike that came with this fat bar. Uh, came with different clamps and a different mount for the Speedo, but I had that put on this bike. It does drop the bars a little bit, but it, I found it felt a, felt like a more comfortable riding position while still having that scrambler feel to it. That is slightly different to what, what was on it as stock. What I want to just talk through is these, these rear mounts. So as you can see here, these are the Krieger uh, duo plates. So they've got two, two mounting pieces around the back, same on each side. I actually had a 62 number done. It's just a vinyl sticker. As I've left them on all the time. I felt having a number on the side didn't make that much difference. And if anything, I thought it made it look a little bit better. The way that the saddlebags actually go on is they go over the seat. They lean against these plates, which stop them going into the wheels. And then actually the straps go around through these holes. So at some point I'll do a video about that luggage and show you what that's like. So those of you who are familiar with the Ducati Scrambler, um, you might notice that this seat looks a little bit odd. Um, and this is because this is Ducati's high seat for the bike. Now, I'm not the only person that rides this. This is also Mrs. Peak Motorcycles bike. She happens to be quite a lot shorter than I am. So most of the bikes that I can ride quite happily, she can't even touch the ground on. Uh, this one is a little bit different, but not with that seat. So what you see here is two Ducati seats. So the one on the bottom is the high seat that I had fitted to the bike uh, when I ride it. And if you look at it from the side, I'm not sure how easy it is to see the difference here. The top one is actually the stock seat that we had scooped out, made slightly narrower. I think they took half an inch off each side and an inch off the top. Um, and when it's on the bike, and I'll, I'll switch them over so you can see the comparison, um, it does make a huge difference. So uh, Mrs. Peak Motorcycles, she's five foot three, and she can flat foot this bike uh, with the low seat when it's on it. So to switch the seat over, it's pretty easy. All you do, you pop the key in, on the underside, take the high seat off and replace it with the low seat. Easy as that. So it's so easy to switch from, from high to low. Now, if I put the seats on top of each other again, you can see just how much difference that makes. So there's a few modifications that, that I'm going to be making to this bike over the next few weeks. So I think the first one will be that I'm gonna replace the stock shock uh, I have an Olin's shock that's designed for the Ducati Scrambler 800, which will go on, will hopefully make the, the ride a little bit nicer. Um, also on the front end, uh, the standard shocks are non-adjustable. Um, I could have gone the whole hog and done the Andriani cartridges, much like I did with my CRF 300, but actually I'm not gonna ride this off-road, um, but I just need something that's gonna firm it up a little bit. So I have some Olin's springs and new top caps uh, to go on the front end of the bike. I've also got some heavier Olin's fork oil that I'm gonna put in and hopefully that improves the ride at that, at that end. Underneath the bike, uh, I mean, it's mainly used on road, so it doesn't go off road very often, um, but currently I've got no protection at all. So yeah, I was gonna get a, a sump guard. I'm still trying to work out which is the better one to get, but it'd be good to get a, a guard to go under there, either the Touratec one, I think, or the official Ducati one, just to give it a bit of protection because I would like to try it off road on some of the trails where I've taken my CRF 300. 
So that's it, that's my really short introduction to my Ducati Scrambler 800. There'll be some videos coming out over the next few weeks as I mess around with various bits on it. It will also be the bike that Mrs. Peak Motorcycles is gonna take on our tour to Ireland that's taking place in September 2021. Not sure how long this video will be up for or when you're watching it. But yeah, so the changes I'm gonna make are replace the rear shock, uh, replace the springs and the oil in the fork, probably get a bash guard for it. We're still not sure about the screen. Um, we're gonna do a test ride out to Wales in a couple of weeks. Uh, just to see how that fares. Um, I'll also show you the luggage that we've got for this. So this is the Krieger Duo uh, bags that go on it, and then we normally put a dry bag on the top as, uh, as well. Currently, I don't have a rack for it. Um, I've been trying to find a rack that will actually work with these uh, Krieger side panniers, and they seem to be few and far between. One option I've seen is to get one of the mini racks that are made by SW Motec, and there are some, some side carriers that go with that. They won't be the same as these, there will be different ones. So this bike is mostly ridden by me and Mrs. Peak Motorcycles around the Peak District. It's, it's got a very low center of gravity. It's quite a light bike in itself. It doesn't have any of the electronic wizardry that you get on some other bikes. There's no traction control. It does have ABS doesn't have riding modes or anything like that but it's just a really fun bike to ride I mean I, I just love it for the for the back lanes that we have around here a lot of which have a 50 mile an hour limit or occasionally a 60 mile an hour limit it's perfect uh, for doing longer journeys for me in particular I find that my head's a bit too too much into the wind um, especially when I have the GS I'll probably take the GS but Mrs Peak Motorcycles is quite a bit shorter than me and for her the most of the wind goes over her head and it's actually quite a nice bike for touring for those of you with shorter legs as mentioned in my news update a few weeks ago I am going to be doing a few videos on lowering bikes so that's both my CRF 300 rally and also this Ducati Scrambler. The suspension is going to be part of that so like I said I'm going to start with the, the rear shock that that's actually been set up for her weight with luggage so I suspect when I sit on it, it's going to drop down a lot more. For the front end the springs are the, the standard length but what I was going to do was probably lift the uh, the fork tubes in the triple clamp by about 10 millimeters or so that seems to be a popular modification that people have done just to to drop the front a little bit so between that and the preload backed off all the way at the back. We're hoping this is going to be a, a slightly lower bike and certainly a bike for those of you who are maybe five foot two, five foot three sort of height could get on and still feel really comfortable on. So that's it. Hopefully this has been interesting and useful. If it has, please like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.